So, welcome everyone. So today we're going to talk about the Chianti float and how much it's shot to take, just so you can get it there or thereabouts, ready on the bank. So, you may have seen that I've done four videos below about the F1 pellet, F1 maggot, F1 fine and cart pellet. If you haven't seen them, check them out, they're below. But if you have seen them, you'll know the score with this. So what I'm going to do is run you through the shotting patterns, which you can get it to. It's not, as I say before, it's not the Bible. Just get it dotted down. It's not that. It's just to get your float sitting, and then you can add your trimmers. So I've got them in here again. So we're going to start with the four by ten now. Now this float is probably older than me. I remember when I first started fishing; these were about, and. There are always a few you've got. Everyone must have one of these in the tackle box. Whether it's this style, the new style, the old style. There's a lot of there's a group of people that love this float. And it's easy to see why. Got a nice cane top that's different to the other range. The others are holler. Cane top. Slim body, carbon stem. So, with this size, the 4x10 and the 4x12, I'm looking to catch a strung out. So through the water, trying to catch roach, rod, big skimmers, off the back of your feed sometimes, whether you're on natural lake, a commercial, river, canal, doesn't matter where you are, this would probably be the float you'd pick if you had to pick one for all of them. I personally use an F1 fine, but that's because I'm a bit of a faffer. But this is a brilliant float. The amount of these is sold over the years or in tackle boxes. I bet everyone's got one. So with this, I've got five number 11s. That gets it shot to about there. But if you put a number another 11 on, then it gets it dotted right down. So that's perfect. Say if you're fishing a canal, it's really clear. You're fishing through the water. Your rig's coming down like that. You can see all them shy bites. And they obviously put more fish in the net. So as I spoke, the 4x12, it's just a slightly bit heavier, but I like that strung out as well. This is what I look to use between 3 and 5 foot, 6, six foot maybe if, it's, if conditions allow. You can get it nice dotted down and you can catch lovely through the water with that float. That takes 9 number 11s and I like them strung out so it slows your bait down you can hold on to it from your back shot and see every bite really nice visible bristles on them now i've got a bulk and two on this one but you can use it strung out depending on the venue and i'll speak about that in a minute so this one's a 4x14 chanty same again lovely top there and on this i've got na six number nines and two number 10 droppers so if I was looking to fish casters on the bottom and stuff like that in deeper water or windier conditions, then I'd choose a 4 by 14 But say if you're on a river, which is a lot deeper, or the, say the Gloucester Canal, which is really deep as well. I fished a venue in Ireland years ago on Home International. That was I used a chanty then. It was a 4 by 16 for the short line. That, that was a light rig, but it was a 4 by 16 so... Because it was top four deep. But you can use these for all sorts of fishing. And then they use them on the stainy for hemp fishing. Stuff like that. So, But if you you wanted to get strung out. Then just you'd have to get your number 10s up the line. It'd probably take a few to be fair. It'd probably take 11 number 10s. Something like that. But if you can get them strung out. If it's deeper then it's better that way. But if it's six foot or below. Then you want the bulk and two droppers. Get your bait down straight away. The same goes for the four by 16 there. If you're looking for that, same again. It's six number eights, two number tens. Get your bait down to the bottom, nice and positive, and hopefully catch them more fish. So thank you for watching. If you like what you see, like the video below, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Cheers.